It isn't every day you get to play with alligators, but this week on At Your Leisure, that's exactly what Darren and Jill are doing. Where can you get up close and personal with 80 tooth behemoths and live to tell about it? The Kinders will have your answer. From there, join me, Stephen Human, as I preview Red, White, and Road, taking you along Highway 12 for the last big motorcycle trip of 2017. We hope you'll join us. Lastly, Restein discovers the Grand Canyon in New York. It's true, and you won't want to miss it. Own the outdoors now with AYL. At your leisure, I'm Jill Kinder. And I'm Darren Kinder, and we're here in Mosca, Colorado. And if you don't know where that is, well, I don't blame you. <laughs> we're, we're just a little bit north of Alamosa, Colorado, and we're here at the Colorado Gator Farm. The nice thing about this place and why the gators like it is there's a geothermal well that brings up hot water, and so they love they can, it. They can keep it nice, even though Alamosa is one of the coldest places in the continental United States. In the winter. In the winter, <laughs> but in the but they have that hot water, so it keeps those gators nice and warm and comfortable, and they really enjoy it here. So yeah. uh, let's go take a look and see how many things we can come up with, and hopefully we'll leave with all of our fingers and toes. Welcome to Colorado Gators. Today we are in the lovely San Luis Valley in southern Colorado. We have many alligators that we have rescued from people who had them as pets and decided for one reason or another that they don't make good pets, which is probably because they don't make good pets. The original goal here at Colorado Gators was to raise fish for human consumption. So we had heads, tails, guts, things like that left over. And they decided that the most natural way to dispose of the fish waste was to get alligators here. If you're a family and you would just like to have the normal everyday kind of thing, you can come in and you get to go through the reptile building, seeing numerous snakes and lizards. We want to cultivate a love of reptiles, but we want to do it responsibly. We want people to love and respect the animals, but we want them to do it responsibly. And so a big goal of ours around here is to teach proper reptiles and, and also how to deal and handle them. Well, you've got so many things to do here. We've just looked at the reptiles and we're looking at the alligators. Oh my gosh, there's there's stuff everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Even some plants to look at. And of course the gators, you see them and they look so docile and, you know, sleepy. Yeah, they do look sleepy. They're yawning, and but it, watch when you f feed them some food. Let's see what they do. Let's see if they jump up. Here, <laughs> that's just bouncing off of his head. Oh, he's too sleepy. I'll tell you. <laughs> he's looking at it, but he's like, I don't care. <laughs> There you go. While we continue on our adventure, we'll let you look at the travel adventure. Well, thanks guys. I'm Stephen Human. Now for most of us, summer is over. Kids are back in school, we put the boats away. But for motorcyclists, this is the prime time of year. You got a month, maybe two, when the weather is perfect, the leaves are changing, and you can hit the road. And I want to invite you to do just that. September 15th and 16th in Torrey, Utah is the 8th annual Red, White and Road motorcycle event. This is the premier ride on Highway 12 for the year and I want to give all the details to you and invite you and your family to join us for the event. There are a lot of famous motorcycle trips in the U.S., like the Blue Ridge Parkway in Virginia or the Pacific Coast Highway in California. Each offers something unique and memorable that can't be found anywhere else. Among these legendary opportunities is Utah Highway 12, a route unlike anything else on Earth. Highway 12 is considered probably one of the top 10 motorcycle rides in the nation. Not just in Utah, it's in the nation. Uh, you get to go up over the Boulder Mountain, get to look down on the Henry Mountains, so you're looking down through the valley. It's a wonderful ride. It's got lots of twisties and turnies too. That's why it's considered one of the best bike rides in the nation. Highway 12 was added to the Utah road system in 1914. At that time, it only went from the Bryce Canyon Junction to Tropic Reservoir. 
Today it is 122 miles long and takes travelers through eons of history. The road has been officially dubbed the Journey Through Time Scenic Byway, and rightfully so, as it descends into red canyons and widens along petrified sand dunes from ages past, when the west was a desert the size of the Sahara. Now that's called the Hog's Backs. You're actually looking down on Calf Creek Falls from that point, but it's a very narrow road. At points, it's probably only 20, 30 feet. I mean, the road's here, and then straight off on each side. It is, it is breathtaking. For Russ Stedman of Stedman's Recreation, motorcycles are in his blood. As the third generation here at the shop, Russ has ridden his entire life and knows the thrill that comes with climbing on a metal steed and exploring the asphalt frontier. It's a life-changing and an attitude-changing scenario when you actually get on a road bike. Um, it's one of those things that you really can't explain to people. Part of the joy of motorcycles comes from the camaraderie with other riders. While they seem very solitary at times, bikes are all about the communion of the ride, sitting and talking afterwards, sharing thoughts. Places like Highway 12 are amazing, and riders are inspired by the vistas and colors, but what is almost more special than the experience itself is the chance to talk about it with your fellow travelers, gaining their perspective and adding it to your own. Since that communion is so important, Stedman's has put on an annual fall ride for the last seven years to give bikers one final chance to enjoy their sport with a group of like-minded explorers before winter sets in and takes away their fun. We wanted to do something to give back to our community, you know, uh, and it just so happened that the first initial ride was on September 11th. So we've kind of taken that theme. It's been fun. It first started out as a day ride, and then last year we decided to do this overnight ride. I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out, but I asked most of the people down there, do you want to just do one day or two days? And most of them really like the venue, so we're doing another overnighter. Red, White and Road will set out of Torrey, Utah at the junction of Highway 12 and 24 the morning of September 24th. The ride will hit all the history and beauty offered on the route. Everyone is welcome to register at AYLTV.com and join us for this amazing ride. The fall colors will be changing and the contrast will be at their zenith. This is an event you do not want to miss. When we hit the road for a vacation, we think about what we'll experience when we arrive at our final destination. And that's normal, of course. But when the trip itself is the destination, that's when you'll find an understanding of the road and the environments it traverses that goes beyond just a blur at your periphery. The world fully takes shape, and you see things you never knew you were missing. Such is life on a motorcycle. I actually just had that experience last week and before I left I was I was thinking about stresses of life and business and all this and I was ornery <laughs> to be honest with you and 10 minutes in the ride I was giggling I was laughing I was I was you know I was my son was on back with me and it was uh, it's it's just a, a change of attitude that happens instantly well hopefully that gave you all the details you needed to want to join us for Red, White and Road. Now it costs $50, you can register right now at AYLTV.com and that includes a t-shirt for the event, a lunch, a gourmet Dutch oven dinner, which you're definitely going to love, and the ride itself. So it's worth your while, worth your time to come and join us the 15th and 16th. Well I'm Stephen Human for At Your Leisure, we need to take a commercial break, when we come back we'll have our product review. A new renaissance has been unleashed in the side-by-side -side world. Can-Am's 2018 Maverick X3 and Maverick X3 Max have soared to the top with a design so bold, everyone has taken notice. And this year, with an additional power increase and lower price point, these machines are turning even more heads. There's a little place on a Utah map Where I was raised, where my heart's at Where the sagebrush grows wild and high And the stars come out at night Oh, there ain't nothing like Being raised in the basin with a youth reservation Skin starvation, that Duchesne County life whether you ride mud, rocks, dunes, or trails, 
Polaris has a razor to match your passion. Unequaled power, unrivaled suspension, unmatched agility, and unbeatable comfort. Everything you need to chase memories and catch them. Find your razor at Polaris.com. Join at your leisure the West's number one outdoor adventure show and Stebbins Recreation for the last big motorcycle ride of the season. It's the 8th annual Red, White, and Road. Join us for the trek along Highway 12 in Central Utah September 15th and 16th. Twist the throttle for one of the most amazing rides anywhere in the country. Register at AYLTV.com for $50 and get lunch, a gourmet Dutch oven dinner, event t-shirt, and a chance to win huge prizes. The 8th annual Red, White, and Road September 15th and 16th in Torrey, Utah. Sign up now at AYLTV.com. It's called the Sidewinder and it is brand new to this market and brand new to Race City RV. Hi, I'm Chad Booth. Now, this is the 3214 Sidewinder. The company that builds it is called KZ. They got a good long reputation. They build a quality machine and it's got some fun features that you're gonna like. So let's go check them out. You expect to find storage. They've done a lot on this particular model though with battery management. So they have a complete electrical management system. And take a look at this. Your leveling jacks are on a control unit right out here where you can watch them. And it also has an auto function where you just push the button and the whole thing levels itself. Pretty cool. They don't scrimp when it comes to providing you power options for your house. You will not fall short of power with this. Storage bay has access from the other side. It also has what you'd expect as a water management center an outdoor shower. What I really like about these is that you have bypass valves for your hot water heater and a winterized circuit so you can actually automatically winterize your system. You ready to see the inside? Okay, are you ready? Romeo, Romeo, where so for art thou Romeo? Take a look at this. The ramp actually converts into a deck. You can put chairs out here. You can put a barbecue out here. You can keep access with the inside because it has a pull-down screen. So we're pretty close to being in storage mode or hauling mode. Now let's take a look real quick at what this is like all laid out. You drop the couch down, but you need more space. Well, here's how you get your sleeping space. One, two, three, four, and five. So now you have beds here and, stay with me, beds here. So KZ actually puts really nice gear inside their kitchenettes. We've got a microwave combination up here. We've got three burner propane stove, a full oven, a super big sink. This is like industrial grade for an RV. And of course, a full-size Norcold RV refrigerator. It's going up to the master chamber. Up in the nose where the master suite is, is a large bathroom. In the bathroom you will find shower with glass sliding doors. What I really like about this one though is the fact that it has a linen closet right here in the bathroom. Really nice. In the master bedroom you'll see that dark walnuts have come back in. This is very man cave like so I kind of like it. But you have wardrobe space. This is a hanging locker here and you've got a shelf unit here. Of course, my favorite part of any trip is at the very end, or you call it a day, and you lay your head down to rest with a nice big padded leather man cave headboard. This is a wonderful rig. KZ is the manufacturer. The 3214 is the model, a place to see it. Ray City RV, see you next time. Uh, you gotta go now, I'm going to sleep. If you believe life starts where the blacktop ends, if the power of an engine makes your heart race, don't settle for anything less than Polaris Razor, the ultimate off-road vehicle. With unequaled power, unrivaled suspension, and unmatched agility, all perfectly combined to help you chase down what matters most. Polaris Razor, we fuel your freedom. A turnout on an old backcountry road, a boulder field in the outcountry. 
doesn't really mean much, it's not really remarkable, unless you're camping there with your kids. I am so glad that when my daughters were young, we made the choice to get an RV because we were able to discover together snakes and fish and butterflies and all kinds of things like that. Make those dreams with your young family at Ray City RV, Utah's low price RV dealer on Riverdale Road in Roy. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We are at the Colorado Gator and Reptile Park, and Darren is about to take a class to wrestle gators. From the world-renowned Noah Gator Wrestler. <laughs> and Chos, <laughs> make sure, let's make sure you're a good instructor. Well, this is the point in time where we double check to make sure we've got all 10 fingers. <laughs> Mm -hmm. At the end of the class, them. we'll also do another check to make sure we still have all 10 fingers. So, so if your instructor is like this, that's not really a good thing. That's probably not a good thing. All right, well, let's go get started then. Most important rule is do not hesitate. Okay. When you decide that you are going to do something, do it. Don't think about okay. it. Just do it. I know where I want to be on this alligator, so I'm there. Can hold him up and say, look, come on, no brains. Now it's your turn to catch an alligator. Are you ready? Just grab, grab. There you go. Now get that thick part of your tail with the other. No, no, no. oh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> yep, pull him straight. Now, the technique for Catching these alligators is going to be a little different than the technique that you used to catch the alligator before. This time, you want both hands on that back, right there in over those shoulder blades and pinning that chest into the ground. A big tug, and you're gonna go forward with your body at the same time, and you're gonna put your hands right there in the target zone. Big tug, jump, yep, get him, yeah! Get him. yeah. So. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out there and we're gonna catch us an alligator. <laughs> and you're gonna stick kind of right behind me. <laughs> yeah, okay. but you're right about that. It was awesome. Okay, so getting one. in the water was definitely so, one of the not what I expected it would be. That was pretty scary. But that's cool. yeah. Pull it out, pull it out, way out. No? <laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put our hands in the alligator's mouth. We're going to do what? <laughs> put our hands in the alligator's mouth. Okay. Now, pull back, pull back and up. No, nope. scoot back with your butt, scoot back with your butt, scoot back with your butt, scoot back with your butt. He's really strong. You know what? Oh my gosh. Scoot forward there. There you go. Now. Pull back and up. No. Look. It's all right. Pull up. Lean back. Now. There you go. Now, look at her. Look at her. baby. Take a look at our trail adventure. I'm Reese Stein at your leisure at the Grand Canyon. And no, it's not the Grand Canyon you're thinking of. This one's a little further east. And while it's not as big as your Grand Canyon, it has a spectacular beauty all its own. Born during the last ice age, a sable chasm in the northeast corner of New York State is nicknamed the Grand Canyon of the Adirondacks. Pouring over 90-foot-high Rainbow Falls, the Osable River cuts into fault lines in the 500 million years old sandstone base, creating this unique two-mile-long gorge. It's surprising for the area. The sandstone formation is really unusual, and so you get these uh, cuts in the rock that you don't see anywhere else up here in, in the New England North Country area. A Sable Chasm has been a popular tourist destination for 146 years, one of the oldest natural attractions in the country. Tim Bressett is the general manager. 
the neatest thing about Unstable Chasm is just the rock formations for sure. Just to explore the place on foot, see all the rock formations such as Elephant's Head, the Devil's Oven, uh, Mystic Gorge, the Cathedral, all those types of things. You know, just mind wanders as you're staring at all these rocks. Just let that go and enjoy Mother Nature, what she's carved out for us. That's definitely the neatest thing. There are many ways to enjoy Au Sable Chasm. We chose the popular Classic Tour, which begins with an easy walk on several trails through the forest high above the gorge. The Inner Sanctum Trail is carved right into the cliff face with the river 150 feet below. Steel bridges with handrails and security fences take us across deep side canyons, providing a spectacular view of the chasm walls. For families with slightly older and physically fit members, there's the Adventure Trail. Our grandkids are a few years away from this Via Ferrata. For us, the classic tour is perfect. Getting the kids into the outdoors and away from the video screen is critical to a well-rounded childhood. Although my observant granddaughter Penny is never too far removed from one of her favorite video games, even out here. Sandstone formations just really interesting and stuff. And also, well, some of them kind of look like they were from Minecraft. You could actually build these landscapes in Minecraft. I'm pretty sure that you could seriously do that. A child's unique perspective. The childproof barriers make the classic tour family friendly. Well, it's really wonderful for the kids. We have an eight year old and a two year old, and both of them were able to do the whole hike and enjoy the rafting at the bottom of the chasm. That's right. After the mile or so long hike, the trail drops down to the river's edge, and we board a rubber boat for the second leg of our journey. A qualified boatman guides his raft through the narrowest part of the chasm. If you've run real whitewater, this is more relaxing than thrilling, unless you're a nine-year-old experiencing rapids for the first time. The rapids were so fun. Just, just going speedy, going through the river just felt like, I don't know, it's an unexplainable feeling, kind of bouncing around. Um, and hearing these splash noises was especially fun. Just being at the front feet was like the best part. You get to see so much scenery. Two-year-old Jude didn't mind taking a backseat to his big sister. I go on the raft. And was the raft bumpy? Yeah. Was it fun? Yeah. Uh -huh. Did you fall in the water? No. Most folks that come here want to do some activities. So there's the rafting, there's tubing, which you can do down the lower part of the chasm where it's much more placid. Then there's the adventure programs, one of just a few Via Ferratas in the country. The Via Ferrata, or Iron Road, is a climbing route involving narrow rock ledges, swinging bridges, cargo nets, and steel steps. Sounds scary, but you're always tethered on a short leash to a secure cable that runs the entire route. A trained guide leads every group and course supervisor Jeff Blackburn says young and old can handle it. As long as you're physically able enough to get through uh, our initial thing, which is our cargo net, everyone's able to do it. You know, there are people who have a debilitating fear of heights, so that's the only real thing you have to overcome here. Otherwise, just about anyone can do it who can follow our instructions and keep themselves safe while we go through the course. The classic tour costs $30, the adventure trail $50. A Sable Chasm lies directly across Lake Champlain from Burlington, Vermont. It also offers rock climbing, rappelling, mountain biking, disc golf, and camping. Restein at your leisure at Osable Chasm in upstate New York. Join at your leisure the West's number one outdoor adventure show and Stebbins Recreation for the last big motorcycle ride of the season. It's the eighth annual Red, White, and Road. Join us for the trek along Highway 12 in Central Utah, September 15th and 16th. Twist the throttle for one of the most amazing rides anywhere in the country. Register at AYLTV.com for $50 and get lunch, a gourmet Dutch oven dinner, event t-shirt, and a chance to win huge prizes. The eighth annual Red, White, and Road, September 15th and 16th in Tour, Utah. Sign up now at AYLTV.com.
get up early to get more done. If you believe hard work makes you stronger, don't settle for anything less than the hardest working, smoothest riding side-by-side -side ever built. Polaris Rangers help you haul more, pull more, dump more, and make more of your free time when the work is done. Polaris Ranger, like you, we're driven to do more. Look south to adventure. Look south to beauty. Look south to San Juan County. Out here, the road goes on forever, and what you'll find will change how you see the world. Climb on your OHV and discover forgotten landscapes and vistas that challenge the imagination. From Blanding and Monticello to the cliff faces of Monument Valley, we're open and ready for you to explore. San Juan County, Utah's Canyon Country. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We just got done playing with the big alligators. Now we got a little baby guy. Or <laughs> girl. Is it a girl? Yep. And I could find out, okay, but you, you really don't, don't want to know. Okay. <laughs> so especially on camera. <laughs> she, this this she's one doesn't a little seem shy. near yeah. as irritated as the other one. No, the no. other one's Darren made him real But fast. we will we will make sure that we still got all ten fingers. Uh, yeah, so looks good. I'm doing all right. <laughs> but this this is really a great place to come and uh, and bring your kids and stuff and really be able to touch a real live alligator <laughs> yeah. is. You don't and have to go after the big ones. You can yeah, touch one of these nice ones. You don't have to go wrestle them, but you can watch them be wrestled, and you can pet them and give them kisses. And uh, give them kisses. Don't go give ahead. them kisses. <laughs> <laughs> but they'll even stamp a bravery certificate for you if you hold it. So but maybe I'll get a bravery certificate. Yeah, right? I think right. you deserve one. Okay. Well, right now, though, we got to get to our calendar of events and our contest winner. Thanks, Darren. Of course, we have Red, White, and Road coming up just next weekend. Sign up now at AYLTV.com. You are not going to want to miss it. I guarantee it. Now, our AYL sticker winner for this week is license number W718XN. You're the winner of a Camp Chef stove. Congratulations. Call us at 801-947-8888. Now, let's take a look at next week's show, where Chad and Rhea will be exploring Hell's Backbone and some of the most striking landscapes in Utah. How can you access these historic lands? From there, we'll continue riding with the devil as we discover his personal racetrack. Be here with AYL in one week. Oh, we had a great time at the, well, I had a great time at the gator park. She was watching me almost get eaten by a gator. <laughs> that was the exhilarating part, right? <laughs> yeah, for you. It was fun. Well, right now we're in Alamos. It's about 10, 15 minutes away from the gator farm. Yep, and they've got all kinds of food and lodging here. Yep. Um, it's just a short while distance away. And plus you have the great sand dunes that aren't far from here either. So there's a lot of recreational opportunity in this area to come and play and, ha and have a good weekend. You bet. So between now and the next time we get together, get out with your family and friends in the great outdoors at your leisure. So until we meet again, whoops. <laughs> if I am crazy enough to willingly put my hands on an alligator, I deserve to get bit. <laughs> I promise not to complain if I die. <laughs>